Yeah, good of you as really want to appreciate you for being part of this community. And this is one of our workshop program where we are, yeah, we are invited by NYC to come and empower Nigeria youth with agricultural skill and um, Right here, we are teaching them fish farming practice, and we are actually carrying out the practice on how you can sort and count cast fish, fingerlings, and juvenile, which is one of the things we are teaching them right now. As you can see, everyone is seriously doing this thing, and um, this youth are vibrant. They actually want to embrace this opportunity, knowing the fact that um, they have been informed that the job is not all that available. And one of the best things you can do is to learn a skill which you can practice. So we're going to be talking much on how to count fish. People do ask us that question, and when you have, how do you count this thousands number of fish? These are fries produced by rolls, They're actually growing, and the big question is how do you count them? Eventually someone wants to buy 10,000 or 20,000, how are you going to count them? So in this documentary, you are going to watch it live, how it is being done. You are going to see the counting process. You are going to hear us on how we get it done. And we encourage you, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please, um, for your own good, do so that you can always be getting updates on how we do it. So I believe you enjoy what you are watching and see them jubilating. Um, the flow through system is running and they are all happy that we are giving them the best that they want. This fish college and fish college is here to serve you better. We actually want everyone to be a successful fish farmer, not just practicing farming as an activity or as a hobby, but we want you to do it and make money. We want you to practice it and make money. I mean, good money, good money, good profit in your business. So, for those of you who are not yet part of our live training, I will encourage you to subscribe. And if you are here to get our materials, try and get all these are very much important. So gradually we are getting to the business of the day. And I really want to wish you the best. Thank you. All right, um, good uh, viewers, I really want to welcome you to our program today. Today is a wonderful day, and um, right here with me, our fries are 10 days old. I just bring them out so I can see them very well. But um, nevertheless, um, I want to, I I'm going to be teaching now something so special today. Um, that particular clip, we have not uploaded it in our channel, and um, we actually have a lot of videos that are pending that we want to upload. That's how to count fish. You no, know, and some people normally ask, how do you count this fish? You know, at times you tell them what I'm having is 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, uh, 50,000. How do you count them? So, counting is not something that is too difficult to do. Now, there are two ways of counting. One. I'm going to call that one, um, I don't know why I will call it accurate counting, where yeah, you can be very, very sure of what you're counting. In that sense, for example, you want to count, which I'm going to show you a live documentary where we are training and where we are counting. In that, in, in, in that light, how we do it is that if, if you want to count like 20,000, you can pick 20 stone, where each stone represents 1,000. Then how do you count 1,000 so I will not be confused? You pick another set of stones. Like 10, where one represents 100. So when you have count that, that 10 stone, which is 1,000, you will now move the other stone that is equal to 1,000. So I believe you understand what I'm talking about, which we are going to show you some of the practicals while working. So that may count easy. But for example, if you are having, um, if someone wants to buy like 100,000 fingerlings from you, and you are thinking of how you are going to count 100,000, another way that we normally do it is, you can make it a uh, sensitive scale. Now what you do, you first of all count 1,000. When you count 1,000, 
you put it in a container that contain water and scale them together scale the quantity of that um, water and the container together so when you put 1000 you take record of the weight that you are getting so whenever you put the same quantity of water in in the container on the scale you will now be collecting your fingerlings and be putting once it gives you that same weight you assume that it is what 1000 but the disadvantage of that one is that you know at least uh, fish their weights are not the same so you can have 1000 accurate or you can have it less than 1000 or above 1000 but nevertheless you have to consider the one that is very much important to you then back to fry management i would like to encourage you um this business is it's not um too difficult to do but just that is technical you can say you need to keep running your flow through and be careful in their feeding which is one of the things we are doing and uh, we just manage them for three weeks after three weeks we remove them at times we don't even allow them to stay three weeks in the hatchery but when you look at their movement we discover that they are too congested you remove them but there are badges like this um, last action we did now um we make use of um, a fish that the egg was not too plenty so we, we we are just praying to god for them to get rid of this place maybe by the end of this weekend today that is the 24th of april 2022 so um i just want to keep you well updated yes i think it's 24th 26th okay today is 26th of april april so we are trusting god at this 10 days old the moment there are two weeks, we are going to move them here so we can hash again because we have excess demand. You know, by this, this time around, people keep placing order. Many believe in us and uh, we don't want to, to disappoint them. So, I actually want to encourage you and um, I want to show you something for those of you who have been missing. Just hold them. Okay. So, what I want to show you, there are some of you who are aware of this material and some of you don't know about it. This book. When you look at the name, this is um, Mastering Catfish Breeding, that's fingerling production and management to table size. You can learn how to hash and manage your fish effectively with this material. And you can only learn how to manage them from fingerling level to table size. This book is not expensive, it's affordable. You can get the hard copy, you can get the soft copy. The soft copy is mainly for those people who stay outside the country or who stay very far away from us. Once you pay your money, We'll, we'll send you the copy and you read it. Then we openly run an online training every Tuesday, every Tuesday from 8 o'clock to 9.30. So once you, you have interest in it, you can you can register. We just tell you what it costs, you pay, you register. There will also run mentorship. All this we are doing is just to help those who are beginners and those who are having one challenge or the other so that um, they can do well and succeed in this business. Then if you know you, you 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 don't know how to start we can still guide you on how to start then you can still partner with us in being a distributor we normally engage in mass production so you can be our partner in distributing um, fingerlings to your community so i want to say we love you and um a good lord bless you and if you are here to subscribe to our channel do not fail to subscribe to fish college okay so see you at the top i want you to succeed and then God will help everyone of us to succeed. So I remain your humble brother and friend, um, the pioneer of his college, a graduate of Unam Dazikwe University, and um, a citizen of Nigeria. So thank you for being part of this community. So uh, what we want to do now is how to count. So. Counting is very, very done easy this way. So you need to guess the basic materials you need available. Number one, you need your counting table. This board you are seeing here, this is my counting table. Then you need the counting stones. Now, why we have all these stones is that each one represents 100. As soon as I count 100, I drop one. So that when I have 100 stones, that means I've been able to count 10,000 out of what you are seeing here. Then, you need your ruler. The function of this ruler, some customers normally have them um, sizes that they want. So you ensure you get the size in centimeter and count it out for them. Or is it distribution? Then the oil, the function of this oil 
is to prevent them from choking. As you can see, there are many here. Then there are too much, they becoming bubble. Then when you drop a droplet or two of the oil in the pond, it will prevent that bubble from coming up. Then we'll have our scooping net for picking them. So we use it to pick them up and drop them to the table and we start counting. So I really want to encourage you, you can equally partner with us in buying singlings and juveniles. And one of the benefits you get from buying from us is to render your quality consultancy. And them, our fish, we normally take proper care of them. You can see them, they are all looking very, very good. So I want to do a, I want to do a sample of how we count. Let's see. So very very simple. So, this is from here already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So I've gotten my first hundred, so I'm going to drop this thing. So how I normally do the counting to make it easy is that I count in five. I count in five. So as soon as I count 20, number of five, I drop the stone. So I'm sure you understand how counting is being done. You know, counting, so many people are afraid when customers demand for high number like 10 to 50,000. But by so doing, you will make it easy. If you cannot do it alone, you can get some persons and put them through, you know, to have one board and then you probably have another one. So and get some persons to work together with you. So thank you for thank you for watching this clip and um, we're expecting you to give us a call for any business you would like us to do together. Thank you so much. Alright, despise not your little beginning. Start small and grow big. That's what I have to say. Thank you. Love you.